Hi guys, welcome back. Well, today I just wanted to share kind of an organizational tip that I know a lot of you may struggle with. Um, I wanted to start sharing more organizational ideas. I always get requests for it. This is something I think all of us kind of deal with um, is paper coming in, you know, mail. What do you do with all that when it comes in? So I'm going to show you my simple way of what I do with incoming mail. Now, of course, you can apply this if you have a bigger family, um, apply this to however you would need to suit your family. But this has really worked for us ever since we've incorporated this. We've probably been doing this for more than a year. It's easy for my husband too. So when he goes gets the mail, he knows just how to separate it. So basically what I do is I have a bin that I have bills and then junk. So I call everything else other than bills junk, whether it is or not. That's just how I have this system set up. Again, if you want to make um, more areas for like individual family members or, um, you know, categorize it better, um, make it work however it needs to for you. And basically what I do is all incoming mail goes in one of those two slots, magazines, you name it, and then once a week I go through it. So the bills, open the bills, pay those. I pay bills once a week, whether it's scheduling them or whatever, but that way I'm getting rid of the actual paper. And then everything else, I open it like, you know, credit card, people trying to give you credit cards and all that. I'll open it, you know, shred it right then. And I do this once a week so that it is not overflowing. And then the magazines or say something I might want to look at later, I'll put them right back in that box. But again, I know I'm going to look at it a week later. So maybe when I'm time, it's time to read the magazine or I'm going to put it in there until I have some free time or going on a trip or whatever. I just keep it in there. So I'm going to show you what ours looks like and then we'll talk back again at the end. Okay, so we're kind of uh, in the little area when we come in. This is the garage door. And I just have this set up here. I found um, this at Home Goods. Like I said, you can have several of these. So if you want one for each family member, that would be great. I just have one because it fits in the area. And like I said, I've kind of labeled it bills and then junk. So I went through this this morning and paid um, the bills. They were up here. So as soon as any bills come in, we just go through the mail. They go in here. Everything else goes in here. So you can see I have a couple of magazines that I need to go through or any other coupon or something I might want to use. So this just is always a reminder that it goes back in here. This way it just really helps with clutter. You know, okay, everything goes in there. And as long as you're cleaning it out once a week, um, to me, it has just really helped with the paper clutter. Again, it's just me and my husband, so this system really works for us. You could definitely adapt this however you need to. I just kind of wanted to give you an idea because I don't know if, about you guys, but that is what drove me crazy is that we would bring mail in and you just get so much mail these days. And then it would sit on the island or the countertop and I'm constantly moving it several times throughout the day or to make dinner. This way we can just put it up there, not worry about it until the end of the week. Of course, you know, if it's something that needs to be opened right away, you're already looking at it when you're sorting it to go into each bin but you know what I mean this just keeps it out of the way so I hope you found this helpful definitely give me your organizational video ideas that you'd like to see me do leave them in the comments below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye